Good guys and girls, my name is Moose from Jigonwood Moose and welcome back to another Fishing Planet video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you as a beginner where to go in Fishing Planet and what fish to catch in order for you to become a successful fisherman and to make the most amount of money in Fishing Planet. As a beginner, this is a common question on our minds, like we don't know where to go after Lone Star Lake, what fish to catch and stuff like it. Because most of the time, people lose a lot of money and end up going back to Lone Star Lake as a beginner. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step, uh, guide on where to go and what fish to catch. So yeah, make sure you pay a lot of attention on what I am saying in the video. So yeah, if you like this kind of videos, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get into the video. My check, my check, testing water, my check. So yeah, the first place you want to be going to is Emerald Lake, Emerald Lake, New York. This place you can usually go to when you are level 8 and above in Fishing Planet. So yeah, I suggest you stay as long as you can in Lone Star Lake in order to get enough money so you can go with the big enough keep net to Emerald Lake in New York. So once you are in Emerald Lake, you want to be using the bass rod you can use a bass rod with the narrow spoon and yeah you can catch walleye like crazy but i suggest as a beginner you fish mostly at night for the walleye why i say at night is because you can basically skip from night to night without having a waiting period because usually when you fish in the day and there's like terrible peaks and your the bites have slowed down and stuff like that then yeah you have to probably wait to go to the next peak and sometimes they do ask you to use bait coins in order for you to skip the time period so yeah i suggest you fish at night and I have a lot of videos on emerald lake on how to fill up your net super quick especially if you are a beginner so when you go to emerald lake you want to make sure you have a big enough net probably like a 60 pound net and yeah you will be good to go so yeah at emerald lake you want to maximize your stay like i always say you try and stay at the lake for as long as possible once you are level 25 or level 23 you want to head over to the everglades in florida here you're going to be going with the bass rod only and yeah you're going to be probably using your setup from uh, emerald lake it's probably going to be like a six pound setup but yeah it's going to be uh, quite difficult to reel in those bass you're going to be catching the peacock bass and the largemouth bass so yeah, it's going to be quite difficult at first but as i say as you save up enough money you can buy a stronger bass rod quick tip when you go to the everglades make sure you take a titanium leader because sometimes the the florida guy can bite on your stuff and snap your line so yeah when you're at the everglades don't worry about what time to fish and anything just don't fish at night because then the bass take really long to bite but yeah the, the bass bite so much in the everglades that you wouldn't need to worry about fishing at night so yeah there you'll fill up your net quite fast and i suggest while you are there also and while you are at emerald lake try and get the bait for the monster fish so that yeah when you're high enough level you can always go back to the everglades and emerald lake and try to catch the monster fish i have videos on the monster fish on my channel so yeah once you like level 33 or 34 i suggest you head over to st croix which is the next lake you're going to be going to after the everglades when you're at st croix stay there for as long as possible I always avoid San Joaquin for the sturgeon. Like uh, I restarted Fishing Planet twice and I always avoided San Joaquin. But yeah, we'll get into that topic just now. Anyways, at St. Croix, you want to fish for the pike. Like I say, as a beginner, when you first get there, don't worry about trying to catch uh, trophies and unique pike at first. At first, you want to get everything set up. You're probably going to only go there with like two rods. So yeah. When you are there, make sure you buy small minnows and also equip your titanium leader. Fish for pike for as long as possible or when you are able to upgrade your rods. And yeah, you will be good to go. Then you can start using shiners, etc. And always make sure you upgrade your fishing net accordingly. Don't upgrade it before time uh, and stuff like that. Upgrade it according to the lake size. So... What I mean by lake size is like the fish at the specific lake you're going to be catching needs to be big enough in order for it to fill up your net so you can maximize your profit. So yeah, make sure you have a decent in, uh, enough uh, keep net. Probably like over 100 pounds will do in St. Croix. Next up is San Joaquin where people usually go to for the sturgeon. 
I personally don't like the sturgeon because they do a lot of damage to your equipment and repairing fees cost quite a lot. And as a beginner, you have to continuously uh, hire, uh, hire a boat the whole time. It's going to cost you money to hire the boat and then to next day you have to buy a license again for the boat and, and stuff like that. So yeah, if you don't have a boat and stuff, don't go to San Joaquin. Just stay on St. On Croix for as long as possible and try to get the lure for the musky golem. And yeah, that's also going to help boost your XP on St. Croix. Do that with all the lakes, starting from Emerald Lake, Everglades and St. Croix. Try and get the monster bait when you're over there. So yeah, you can catch them while you're busy on those lakes. Anyways, for St. Croix, when you have enough money and stuff like that, don't go fish for anything else just yet. Um... Then you can head over to San Joaquin, but don't go over for the sturgeon, in my opinion. Um, you can go catch the monster fish over there, and yeah, that's going to give you a big XP boost in order for you to go over to the next lakes of your choice. So yeah, at the beginning, I know you want to have a lot of fun. You want to explore different uh, lakes and stuff like, like mud water and the head and rubber and stuff. And you can, but just make sure that you have enough money in your bank account for you to do all of those things. You don't want to end up going broke at the lakes that don't make you a lot of money. Then you have to go all the way back to Lone Star Lakes. So I suggest that once you hit uh, St. Croix for the pike and you get a lot of money, probably like about over 100,000, then you can start going to the other lakes and explore as much as you want. But yeah, as a beginner, you don't want to go um, and do any detours, like uh, detours as in you don't want to go to Mud Water River and stay there for a long time and then upgrade your rods and buy channel uh, catfish rods and stuff like that. Then go to the Heron River, try to catch cars and stuff. You're not going to progress uh, like very, how can I say, in a good way when you'll be doing all of those stuff. You're going to be basically using all of your money and you have to go back to Lone Star Lake again. So yeah, if you follow these steps that I have given you, uh, you'll become very successful and yeah, you'll make a lot of money very quickly and you'll find yourself exploring a lot in Fishing Planet afterwards. So yeah, I know it's going to take a lot of grinding and you're going to get bored from time to time. But yeah, like I say, if you want to become successful, just do it uh, like the way I am telling you. So basically, you have to go to Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, and San Joaquin if you want to at the end. Uh, so yeah, if this helped you out, please let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, as usual, feel free to ask me any questions and peace.